Okay, here we go. Um, I have to say this is a bit of a re reenactment. It's a Firefly F338. Uh, wow, this sun. It's early morning. I'm going to move over here. Um, got the guitar. I actually had to box it. For some reason, I didn't have my camera turned on or whatever. But I got it out and I had some problems. So I boxed it all back up. Contacted Firefly. I was seriously going to send it back, but they gave me some uh, some refund on it, and I decided to go ahead and keep it. But uh, so it's, it's it's really a project guitar. Thing. So I think it's a beautiful guitar. Um, oh, I get back in here good. And it's all ready to send back. It's the black with red trim, red binding. F338, Pro, stainless steel frets, bone nut, all that good stuff. Beautiful guitar. Looks awesome. Love the way it looks. Um, I mean, that's more than fret buzz. <laughs> that's, it won't play the first uh, four frets or so. So when you get up the neck, but down here. So looking at the neck, looking down the neck, it's 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 like this. There's no relief whatsoever. It actually has a little bit of back, you know, bow like this. And so I haven't figured out exactly where this is hitting, but it's obviously the neck relief is completely wrong. So maybe it's temperature changes, whatever happens. I mean, you think about this thing. Um, it came from China and it's been, uh, you know, shipped across the country and. So maybe it's just a temperature thing. I mean, the neck feels straight. It feels, I've got another uh, 338 from a few years ago. And this, the neck profile here seems a little slimmer. Actually feels better. Frets feel a lot better on the side. Um, this just looks awesome to me. I like the black and red. Um, but I'm probably gonna need some advice on how to fix this neck. So I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna do a truss rod adjustment. And, um, and, and boy, I've, I've, I've done like one or two truss rods in my entire life. One of them was a disaster. And I took the guitar to a pro tech and he fixed it. One was a bass and I you know, just a quarter of a turn, like once a day until I had it where I wanted it and that worked. So I'm just paranoid about it. I'll, I'll watch some videos and see if I can figure out how to do it right. It's a beautiful looking guitar. It looks really well made, well built. Um, I'm just disappointed in this uh, situation down here. So once I finally do get set up, I may make some video on that. I'll probably watch more video than I make about the setup part of it. And then I'll, uh, I'll try it through my uh, stage right 30 watt tube stack, which I love that amp. And I just feel like this guitar is going to be awesome through that amp. You know, if I don't have any other issues other than this neck issue. That's where it stands right now. Thanks for watching.